Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Van Tech. We specialize in HVAC, but do everything DIY. And today I'm working on an exhaust motor that is having an issue. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So this is an exhaust motor and it does work off a VFD controller. This is an exhaust for a kitchen setup. And what's going on here is that there's a complaint that this is barely working. And if you look at it, yes, although you can see the shaft spinning, it's moving very slow. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so I, I found the issue as to why it's moving slow. It's not the VFD at all. It's not an issue where you would adjust the Hertz or anything like that. What's going on here is that this motor is, a one, is only for one voltage, 440 to 480 volts. And let's pay attention to my meter. This is a three-phase system, so let's go across the first two legs. I hope you all can see that. We have a 212 volts let's across the next two. 210 volts 211 volts so what's going on here is that we're only getting 208 volts three phase but we have a 440 volt motor so this is being supplied under voltage it's only getting 208 volts when it needs 440 to 460 to spin correctly so what's going on here is that they have the wrong motor not exactly sure how this came about to how they have a 440 volt motor but only 208 volts being supplied not gonna question it all I know is that I'm here to make things work so the idea here would be to kill the power and take out this motor and match it up so we get a motor with the correct voltage so let's shut this down and take this thing apart so here's that wheel I don't really have good access as you can see the motor is hitting this I might be able to let it work just like that so we don't have to take this apart but I'm gonna try to get it like this if not we got to take this thing apart just move it over to the side and yeah so we got to take off this wheel so we can pull this motor and disconnect these wires so we can free this up so let's begin just disconnected the electrical we got our three phases white black red it went here as you can see i cut it white went to u1 red went to v1 black went to w1 just cut that out took it out and the green wire is our ground so now our electrical is out and the only thing that's really holding us in place is this mount possibly and this blade so once we take this apart we can free this motor and do what we can I was able to get this door open just enough if we look on here the middle piece is our shaft and we got these two little locking nuts so we're gonna loosen this up and I'm just gonna try to slide this off it might not be able to slide off so I got myself a fan puller so let's see how we're gonna get this off I got my allen key set so we're just gonna loosen that up and try to pull this thing just loosen those up I always try to do this by hand first you might want to put some WD on that shaft oh it's a lucky day oh yes all right if that wouldn't work I would use that fan puller tool I'm gonna to link this in the description this thing is awesome and a lifesaver I recommend everyone has one in the truck so we got this off, we got the wires off, and it looks like I could just take off these four screws and this whole thing comes apart. I was able to take this out without pulling out this piece here. Kind of just bent it a little bit. So now the blade is out, take off these screws, and this should pull right out. free so that's the idea here that's how we removed it 
We look closely, it says 440 to 480, and as you saw, we only have 208 volts being supplied here. There's actually no such voltage in this entire building. I don't know how this happened, but this is the case. So I got pulled this out. I'm gonna take this to a motor specialist where he can match me up a new motor that's the correct voltage with the same specs. And we're gonna come back to replace it and wire everything and test everything to make sure that we are actually operating. We're back on the job site. And believe it or not, this is the original motor. And if you look closely in the tag, I will also leave a picture. It says it's only from 440 to 480 volts. I brought this to a motor specialist. God bless them because they actually rewound this motor so it can work on 208 to 230 volts. So we're gonna reverse the process of how we took this out and let's get this back in and get started. Many have been asking me what kind of tool bag do I use. I use the Vito Pro Pack Tech XL. This is my main bag and here's a little sneak peek inside. It's a double-sided bag, super organized. And that's that. So here's our motor. And we're gonna begin by taking off this tape, of course. I had to leave this overnight until the motor got repaired and altered. So we're gonna begin by mounting our motor on this door. Push that in. And then we have four bolts holding up this motor on the edges. So we're just gonna get that started and tighten it down so we are in place. From here, we're gonna run the wires into our system. So we're using U1, V1, and W1 as our three phases. And the guy at the motor shop actually connected this to power. So I know this motor works correctly. He did something internally. I don't know really what he did. Usually you can wire a dual voltage motor for its rated voltages. Typically you'll see things like 208 to 230 slash 460. In this case, if you look at the tag, it only says 440 to 480. To my knowledge, this is not a dual voltage motor. I'm not really sure what the guy did, but he got it done and I got to test it at the shop. I'll show you a few pictures of the plate. And we're gonna continue from here by connecting our wires and also checking rotation. All right, so we're gonna run our power inside. And lock it down with our nut. There. And lock it down. All right, our wires are in. We're gonna start with our ground. Green wire is going to get grounded to this nut and we're gonna lock it down. All right, we're grounded and we have our three phases to connect. So we're grounded here. I'm just gonna pull these wires out. And I'm gonna follow the same colors as it was before and what it was it was white, red, black. It really doesn't matter where you put them. You can put them on either one. And then if the rotation is correct, then you're good. If not, then what you can do to reverse rotation is you switch any two wires from here and I will make a separate video for that. All right, so we're grounded and we have our three designations. Our three phases are connected. From here, what I really wanna do is check rotation and put on this blade. Here's our motor, we opened our door, and this is where we're gonna get our other side of the shaft. Everything is sanded down. You always wanna sand down your shaft, and if you can, always try to sand down inside your blade so this can fit on smoothly, and you don't have any problems. You're gonna notice there's a flat part of the shaft and everything else is round. So the flat part is where you're gonna lock down these two little screws. 
So that's what's gonna hold it in place. The wheel was able to take off by hand, so I don't think there's gonna be any issues. Got my flat part on top. And I'm just gonna align. As you can see, we are fully on the shaft. We are lined up with the flat part of it. And I'm not sure if you can see, but there is a little clearance between here, so we're not gonna be scratching against this wall. And now we can just lock this down with an Allen key. All right. Let's flip the switch and see what happens. All right. Let's shut that down, make sure nothing scratches. Now that's a beautiful thing. You always wanna make sure the rotation is correct. If the rotation was not correct, you would reverse any two wires. I did mention this before, so let's just give an example. Let's say the white goes to U1 and the red goes to V1. Now you're gonna put the red to where the white wire was and the white wire where the red was and right there you just reversed the polarity and you're going to reverse the rotation and from here we just got to close everything up and this was a beautiful job uh, if anybody found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time